Nino Brown Boxing, and I'm back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So tonight is going down. Billy Joe Saunders versus David Lemieux for that WBO middleweight title. Um, what are my thoughts on this fight? Man, I think this is going to be a pretty good scrap. Hopefully, I had an opportunity to see it. I suppose to, you know, I got some plans tonight, but maybe I could watch it on my phone while I'm out, while, while I'm out and about, you know, true boxing fan type shit. So... Um, in my opinion, I say this fight is about a 50-50 fight. I, I can see David Lemieux knocking out Billy Joe Saunders, and I can, and I can easily see Billy Joe Saunders outboxing David Lemieux. It really all depends which guy shows up. You know, I know plenty of people have said that same thing a hundred times now, but it's honestly true. Uh, we know that uh, Billy Joe Saunders, he has he has a point in time where he's been inactive, even though he hasn't been stripped. You know how the politics roll with that. He has a point in time when he's been inactive and he hasn't been really fighting as much. You know, he'll call out certain guys after they already got a fight or he'll call out a person right after they finish fighting or whatever the case may be. And he'll do the pretty much just a ring around a rosy type BS and huh, BS, Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, no pun intended. He'll do the same type of ring around a rosy BS. And, uh, you know, try to, I guess, put his name out there, even though he has no intentions on fighting anyone, but it is what it is. Now, David Lemieux, on the other hand, like, it's all, like, David Lemieux getting this fight for Billy Joe Saunders. The whole point of this is for Golden Boy to give, for pretty much feed David Lemieux to Canelo Alvarez and to make sure that Canelo has a title at 160 pounds, pretty much no matter what. Um, I don't know exactly what Golden Boy and Triple G are planning on doing. I'm sure the winner between Triple G and uh, Canelo, if there is a immediate rematch, they'll definitely be facing the winner between David Lemieux and Billy Joe Saunders. I can guarantee you Canelo, if he was to beat Triple G, he will definitely have David Lemieux in the ring with him next if David Lemieux was to beat Billy Joe Saunders. Now for me, me personally, I don't want to see that. I do. I want to see them unify. Yes, I want the division to be unified. But I already know from what it's not going to be unified. If Canelo beats Triple G, it's still not going to be unified because Canelo's not going to take that WBC title. And if Canelo does take that WBC title, guess who's the WBC mandatory? Jamal Charlo. Oscar De La Hoya does not want that fight for Canelo. I'm not going to go out there and say that Canelo doesn't want to get in the ring or he's afraid to get in the ring, but. Um, Jamal Charlo, because, you know, Canelo's a fighter, and I believe the guy has heart, so I'm not going to disrespect him like that, but I know damn well Oscar De La Hoya doesn't want that fight, but let me get back on track, because I hate when people get off topic of the, of the video, so tonight, how do I see this fight going, what is my prediction, um, I believe the first round or two is definitely going to be some filler rounds, I feel like David Lemieux, he's going to be filling, not David Lemieux, Billy Joe Saunders is going to be filling himself from his victory over Willie Monroe. Now, even though some people say that they feel like Willie Monroe was, he's a soft touch, he's not a heavy puncher and this, this and that. Yes, very much so. But at the same time, Willie Monroe is a very athletic fighter and he had, he's, he's well conditioned, he's extremely athletic and he has good boxing ability now I, I believe and I could pretty much say I know for a fact he's a better conditioned middleweight than David Lemieux for the simple fact I can guarantee David Lemieux blows up close to 200 if not more than 200 pounds in between fights um, Willie Monroe is in shape uh, Willie Monroe is a lot faster than David Lemieux but the only thing Willie Monroe doesn't have is that punching power slash dog in him I mean really Monroe is soft in my opinion but even though the styles are different, they, I mean, uh, Billy Joe Saunders' experience with Billy Monroe in that ring puts him in a better position to pretty much box circles around David Lemieux without being tired. Like, you know, uh, Billy Joe Saunders hasn't had the best conditioning in recent memory. But neither has David Lemieux. You know, he's not some extremely athletic guy that can run circles around his opponents 
So Billy Joe Saunders definitely has a, a advantage coming off this Willie Monroe fight when it comes to conditioning. He doesn't, even though they've been saying that that uh, Saunders was in prime condition in his previous fight, I don't even think that he needs to be in that great of a con- that great of condition versus Devil Lemieux for the simple fact, you know, Devil Lemieux is a happier guy. He's a come first, big punchers, you know, try to knock you out, and that's his only game plan. But at the same time, Billy Joe Saunders, he's not, uh, he's a good boxer. He has, he's a skillful fighter. I'm not going to take that away from him. And I believe that if the good Billy Joe Saunders comes in, the same Billy Joe Saunders to beat Chris Eubanks, if he came into this fight, he can definitely box circles around David Lemieux. But I feel like David Lemieux is hungry. And not hungry just to get that WBO title. Forget the title. David Lemieux is hungry because if he gets this title and he gets this, even though he's going to be fed to Canelo Alvarez, he's going to be put in a position to get the biggest payday of his life. Now, if a title can't make you hungry because some guys, they all duck and dodge a title, you know, but that money will make you hungry. David Lemieux has the opportunity to cash out and pretty much hand delivering that WBO title to Canelo Alvarez. And if that doesn't make David Lemieux hungry, if that doesn't put David Lemieux in a space where his chin is granted, even though he's been knocked out before, that Canelo, that Canelo Alvarez payday will definitely be a motivator and put in David Lemieux in the best chance to beat Billy Joe Saunders. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I see like, like Billy Joe Saunders, he's definitely a trash talker, and he may believe his own hype, you know. And if he does, I think that's going to be his downfall. I think he needs to go in this fight ready like he's about to face Golovkin or he's about to face Canelo. If he comes in here and he's overprepared for the opposition that's put in front of him, he will definitely come out victorious and he'll retain his title. But if he's going in here and he's looking at, okay, okay, David Lemieux, he's been stopped before. I'm a superior, you know, I have superior boxing skills compared to this guy. And the only thing I have to do is just not get caught with one of those big bombs from the David Lemieux flush and I'll be good to go. No, that's not the way for him to go. You know, he needs to just stay on the outside, outbox this guy and be uh, be honestly the best defensive fighter he can be and just went on points and he'll be good to go. But if not, we'll definitely see uh, Billy Joe Saunders hand. Oh, Billy Joe Saunders will be on the canvas if he's pretty much sleeping on David Lemieux. So my prediction for this fight, um, I don't know, man. It's, it's hard to say. Like I'm kind of torn between the two, for the simple fact that the skill. I believe skills pay the bills, but money is hell of a motivator, and it's really hard. But I'm just gonna go out on a limb. I want to say this fight doesn't end in knockout. I'm gonna say that Billy Joe Saunders doesn't show up as much as we think he should, and whoever wins this fight. It's going to be either by split decision or majority decision. And it's just going to be that. I believe it's going to go to the scorecards. It's going to be extremely close. I believe it will be at least one knockdown in the fight. But the knockdown may not be the deciding factor on who wins. It could be multiple knockdowns. But I don't see Billy Joe Saunders knocking out David Lemieux. And for some reason, it's something about David Lemieux, and this is gut feeling that I'm getting. I don't see David Lemieux knocking out um, Billy Joe Saunders. It's just one of those fights where you feel like it's going to end in a knockout, and you're just waiting for it the whole entire fight, and it never comes. And that's just that's just my feeling for this fight. So I said I'm going to pick a winner, and my winner for this fight, um, I'm picking uh, Billy Joe Saunders, and winning. Not in, in not in a, an impressive fashion, but one in a close fight, and he's pretty much gonna appear to be exposed to anybody else at middleweight. And you know that's just my prediction for this fight. But then after that, what's you know what happens after this? You know, if if my prediction comes true and Billy Joe Sonda wins this fight and it's not in an impressive fashion, I feel like uh, Billy Joe Sonda should. I mean. I was about to say uh, Billy Joe Saunders should try to go a different route, but isn't Canelo? I mean, isn't Canelo the WBO uh, middleweight mandatory? And that's another thing. So it's it's so much politics wrapped up into this thing. It's hard for me to swing it a different, you know, different ways. 
And I don't the way the WBO rolls, I don't even know if the WBO would drop Canelo from the ranking as a mandatory if Canelo was to lose or to have another draw with Triple G. You know, plenty of people are picking Triple G to uh, lose against Canelo in this rematch. I haven't even thought about that deep enough. I have to, you know, make me a video on that as well. But let's just say if Canelo was to lose to Triple G and Billy Joe Saunders was to beat Dave Lemieux, I don't see Billy Joe Saunders um, getting in the ring with any of the top middleweights. I feel like this guy is going to go go back into hiding. He's going to talk a little trash on Twitter. And he's going to try to hold on to that WBO title as long as he can until another possible payday comes his way. Unless one of these guys like Demetrius Andre finally steps up and puts himself in a position to actually become someone's mandatory and not just talk about it, you know, in interviews and on social media. So once again, my prediction for this fight is Billy Joe Saunders by a split decision or majority decision in an extremely close fight where he doesn't look too impressive. And David Lemieux, you know, he'll just be back, back with Golden Boy fighting in-house fights until he builds himself back up. This is Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. Peace.